So we are now ready for a start here in the under 10 boys, 1100 meter walk. We may just reintroduce that field to you as well once the start has taken place. So the race is off and underway now here for the 1100 meter walk, racing very well at the moment. The athletes out of does look like it's Tom and possibly his teammate Oliver. But we will introduce the field to you now from station one Tom from Berwick, two Harry from Melton City, three Oliver from Berwick, four Logan from Knox, five Cameron from Caulfield, six Blair from Wodonga, seven Arden from Albury, eight Zorowa from Melton City, nine Dorama from Ballarat, ten Sebastian from Doncaster, eleven Isaac from Middlesey City. 12, Lachlan from Cockatoo, 13, Austin from Knox, 14, Jack from Cranbourne, and 15, William from Mentone. So our fastest seated athlete is that of the leader at the moment. Not too far behind him was our actual second fastest qualifier in Oliver. So Tom and Oliver from Berwick leading the way at the moment as they come around with uh, just probably past their first 300 metres of this event. So... So walking very well at the moment. Is that of Tom? You can see him out in front. Third place currently is Logan uh, there. And not too far behind him is Zorowa. It's actually Harry from Melton City. Just passing camera there was Blair also from Wodonga. So Tom, in actual fact, um, the leader was the winner over 700 metres in this event last year. And Logan from Knox, who's currently sitting in third, was in third place last year. So I don't believe Oliver walked last season, who's currently sitting in second, but doing a great job all the same as they just come back into shot. So one and three, that's Tom and Oliver from Berwick. So Tom comes in with a seat of time of 5.35.75. There wasn't too much gap between the two boys, so Oliver was probably only around about uh, 12 seconds behind him. So if you margin that in distance, it's probably a little bit less. He's actually edging closer to him at the moment. So it's probably a bit of a bigger than a 12 second gap between the two right now. Probably about a six or seven, if that. As they make their way down the middle of the back straight in the, in the beautiful shaded space from those lovely trees we've got along the back straight. So some great gum trees along the back straight here at Knoxfield. Providing our families with some really well-deserved morning shade. So coming up with about 200 metres to go is that of Tom from Berwick, walking incredibly well at the moment. And he will be coming around for the bell lap. He's done majority of the work out there in front by himself, but just still keeping in touch at the moment with him is that of Oliver from Berwick as well. So as they come into view from the front or the main straight cameras that we have in place, You'll see the gap is pretty close between the two. So just coming into shot in just a short moment. So Tom's equipped himself well for the race today. He's had the sides just shaved down a slight bit. So just a little bit of the hair on top. Coming in third at the, uh, second place at the moment is Oliver from Berwick as well. So Oliver's still keeping touch with, in touch with Tom at the moment. Logan hasn't changed position at the moment. He's still holding strong for third at the moment with his cool shades on as well. So following closely behind him is that of Blair from Wodonga. And I think it was Harry from Melton City not too far behind him as well. So bell lap there for Tom. So just one lap to go for those competitors. Cameron from Caulfield in shot now. And then it's Jack from Cranbourne. And Arden from Albury. And Sebastian from Doncaster. So we'll move back into shot of the leader at the moment, making his way just around past that start line and the call room there as well. So really great walking by Tom. He's probably opened up that lead probably by another couple of metres at the moment. So he's probably stretched it out to, I'd probably say about 25 metres at the moment. And we'll see some of our competitors towards the backstage of the field making their way down towards their final bell lap. So our race leader, Tom, we mentioned before, walking very well. 
So a reminder to our viewers that final placings for this event um, are only confirmed once our walk judges have convened after the event and any disqualifications have been removed from the start list. So positions can change quite significantly. So our second competitor just coming into shot now as we move our vision over to the front straight. And that's our race leader just passing camera now. Only 50 metres to go for him now. So a great race here by Tom today. And he'll come across the line to take out an unofficial state championship title. His teammate in Oliver, not too far away. Great strong finish there by Blair from Wodonga, as you just saw in shot there, chasing fourth. So it's Oliver that comes across the line in second place. Logan from Knox coming across the line. And that's Blair, you can see, just coming across the line as well. So Blair from Wodonga, great effort by him. And that is Harry from Mountain City now coming across the line. So we'll just get some vision of the finish line space now in just a moment, just to get the remaining competitors. And that's Jack from Cranbourne. That was Sebastian from Doncaster, I believe, just coming across the line there before as well. So Sebastian from Doncaster coming across the line. Isaac from Middlesea City, Dorama from Ballarat. Zorowa from in Melton City, Austin from Knox. So we've got one athlete from Mount Mentone, probably with about 30 metres to go. And this is William from Mentone. Making way across the line as our final competitor in the under 10 boys, 1100 metre walk. 